The NIES is the leading institute of environmental science in Japan, and our center, uh, Center for Health and Environmental Risk Research, is in charge of uh, scientific research to help realize uh, safe and secure societies. The center conducts research on uh, development of advanced ecotoxicity testing, analytical chemistry for environmental monitoring, environmental fate analysis and modeling, and exposure and risk assessment. The center also conducts research on environmental health research field on the uh, impact of chemicals on the human health by toxicology and epidemiology. The center consists of uh, researchers from a variety of backgrounds. Those include chemistry, biology, mathematical sciences, environmental engineering, toxicology, and epidemiology. We developed a GIS-based uh, multimedia environmental fate model and that covers uh, whole Japan with verifying uh, geographical resolution. The model can simulate environmental level distribution of chemicals over Japan uh, in each river segment. The model is now a major tool of Japanese official uh, chemical risk assessment. My area of expertise is to develop environment fate models and emission estimation method for chemicals, including environment risk assessment based on these results. I developed the pesticide chemicals high resolution estimation method named PECREM. It is used for estimating spatially and temporary variable emissions of various party pesticides. We are also developing the grid catchment integrated environmental modeling system named GSIMS. The GSIMS model is a multimedia fate model. It was basically developed for simulating organic pollutants. It has multimedia compartments such as the atmosphere, the subsoil layer, river and lakes, sea, and sediment with high spatial resolution. Anyone can download this model together with a user interface tool and input dataset for whole Japan from our website. The model can show concentration maps and environmental concentration distributions, including these temporal trends for each medium. The importance of effective and efficient risk assessment is increasing because many new chemicals are produced day by day. It will be more important to grasp the environmental levels of each chemical in low cost. I think multimeter fate model like GCM's model and emission estimation method are key technologies to achieve this goal. We are working on the development of new testing method for ecotoxicity of chemicals. Uh, one of them is a male growth method for uh, endocrine disrupting chemicals and uh, uh, transgenerational impacts. My interest is in uh, ecotoxicity and ecological risk assessment of environmental contaminants such as pharmaceuticals, surfactants, and pesticides. We collaborated with the US EPA to develop Medaka Extended One Generation Reproduction Test, which was approved as OECD Test Guideline number 2450. This method takes almost six months but has extremely high sensitivity to detect the maternal transfer of the chemical and reproductive effects. The flow-through system was built to maintain the concentration of the chemicals to conduct the long-term fish toxicity testing. All the instruments are made of stainless steel, glassware, and PTFE to avoid the background contamination by the plasticizers which is suspected as endocrine disruptors. We have contributed to the chemical management in Japan, such as chemical substances control law, by the supply of testing organisms, such as fishes, crustaceans, and aquatic plants. Another important achievement is the new introduction of comprehensive analytical schemes in variety of applications of environmental monitoring. I am conducting research on grasping hazardous chemical substances in the environment by integrating chemical analysis and bioassays. I also conduct research on environmental monitoring methods to be used 
when chemical substances leak, dying the disaster. AIQS, called AIQS, stands for Automatic Identification and Quantification System. AIQS enables the identification and semi-quantification of substances without the use of target standards by adjusting the GCMS conditions. In addition to about 1,000 substances that can be measured at present, we are updating the database so that more substances can be measured. The molecularly imprinted polymers, MIP, we are developing, mimics nuclear receptor such as estrogen receptor. Once this MIP is completed, it will be possible to efficiently extract and purify estrogen receptor binding substances from environmental water. In parallel with this, we have just started the development of MIP that corrects silent hormone receptor binding substances. In the future, we hope to be able to build a system that can detect environmental changes and identify the environmental impact contaminants rapidly. We will pursue the upgrade of ecotoxicity testing methods and investigation on the environment using several assays. We will also continue working on bioinformatics to contribute to the development of AOP and IATA. Our center will try our major effort to establish innovative science that supports society for sound and the safe use of chemicals in the world.